Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today it is finally, finally Jisoo's episode of Blackpink Airport Outfits. Her style is so cute. The Burberry moment, you know we're going to get into that. I upload videos here to my channel at least four times a week, so if you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to be notified of my next Fashion Expert reviews, which will be all about Shiny's key, then go ahead, press that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. And whilst you're there, please do give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. Let's get stuck into Jisoo's looks. If you are new to Fashion Expert reviews, let me explain how it works. I've got all of Jisoo's looks here on the laptop. I'm gonna go through, talk references, designers, silhouettes, and much, much more. And then where it's a review, I'm going to rate each outfit out of 10, 10 wings because we're at the airport. There. In this video, I also show you how you can recreate these looks on a budget and I leave all of the links in the description box. So if you want to check those out, feel free. There is no pressure. They are affiliate links. So I make a small commission if you shop these links, but it's at no extra cost to you. It's just a way to help support this channel. Jisoo look one, of course I had to start of the Burberry moment. I love Burberry, it's British, it's heritage. I love the fact that this check was so chavvy back in the day and now it's been reinvented, brought back, brought back into the forefront of fashion. I just think it's so iconic. I love this pleated skirt with the new top, the tones on her of her skin. Stunning. Looking closely at Jisoo's skirt, we can see that it's high-waisted and there is a very thick belt around the waist. And then we can see that there are knife pleats. Knife pleats basically means, I've explained this in my Solgi video very badly, it basically just means all of the pleats go in the same direction. Very simplest way I can explain it. We can also see that this has a raw edge, which I think is a really nice detail. This could have been longer they could have lobbed it off. It might be a detail of the skirt itself. I just think it really adds this nice textural element and like low key little bit of grunge. The skirt is also a really nice length. It's not like ass cheek skimmingly short, but it's still quite short. She has really nice legs, like very toned legs. So of course, get them out, show them off. Jisoo has then paired her Burberry skirt with this really beautiful finely knit top. And the nude color doesn't perfectly match the Burberry check, but I think that's really nice that it's like different tones. You know I'm here for a tonal moment. I think knitted t-shirts are a really great way just to elevate a look. If you're not really into fashion, invest in some knit t-shirts. It just adds a different texture instead of jersey. Jisoo has then finished off the look with this really simple gold chain. I believe there's a little J charm at the bottom and then this beautiful, beautiful Burberry shoulder bag. The quilting on it is really unique. I've not seen quilting like this before. I really like that new like Burberry B logo. It's just very iconic. The strap detail, beautiful. I like the fact that you've got one chain strap and then you've got a strap that's leather and then chain, but it is beautiful. Come through Burberry. Jisoo has then got a pair of black loafers and black socks on. I don't feel like the shoes go with the look. I think it's the sock. I think if she didn't have that black sock on and just the loafer, it would look so much better. I think where the sock is coming up past her ankle and the look is very nude, it's very light. And then she has this very heavy black like sock and loafer on. Do you know what I mean? I just think it looks a bit too heavy for the outfit. If she took that sock off, it would be so much better. Or if she had that white loafer from Rosé's look where she's in that like nude ribbed dress. I just think the black is too heavy for the look. I'm gonna give Jisoo look one nine wings. I think it's fabulous. All Burberry, the Burberry bag, stunning. The nude tones. You know I love that shit. I just think the shoe is too heavy for the rest of the outfit. Jisoo look two. This is chic, this is casual, perfect, smart, casual vibes. We've got this very fitted black blazer. We can see that it's single breasted and it has two buttons. So an SB2 in industry terms and it has a notch lapel, meaning the lapel doesn't come out further than the collar. It's got this really cool zip detail in this like halter neck shape. I just think it adds such a nice detail to a black blazer. It's still a black blazer, it'll go with everything, but it's just got like a little bit of pizzazz. <laughs> pizzazz, oh my God. 
gay as fuck. What's nice about this blazer is that it's fitted, but it's still long in length. I feel like when you look at women's wear, when something's fitted, it's always cropped, which yeah, it works. Like think of like Rosé in that cropped black fitted jacket. Stunning. But the longer length fitted jacket in this look, it looks so good. Underneath the blazer, Jisoo has gone for this black high neck top. It's got, I think it looks like lettuce edging, you know, where it like frills like this. The very simple gold necklace. And then we can see that she's gone for a pair of blue wash high waisted jeans. They look like a nice wide leg fit, which is super trendy at the moment. Skinny jeans out the window. If you have skinny jeans, dash them out the window right now. <laughs> this is a really nice silhouette because it's very form fitting on the top and then she's got the wide leg jeans. And I think that's a really great way to balance out an outfit. If you've got something oversized, say on top, then you should go more slim on the legs and vice versa, as we can see here. I think that's the general rule of thumb. It doesn't always work, but do you know what I mean? Like general. Jisoo has then finished off her look for a pair of Converse Chuck Taylors, the black classic ones. Most people own black Converse, it's a very classic shoe. And then she has the stunning Dior, small lady Dior bag, the quilting, the charm detail, the red popping out against the outfit, which is like black with the denim. And then we can see she's gone for a lip color that's like almost there with the bag. Come on. It looks so good. I mean, not all of us have the big, big butts in the bank to splash out on a Dior bag. When I saw the price of this bag, I was like, <laughs> any statement bag in your wardrobe will work perfectly. And I believe Jisoo is a global ambassador for Dior. So, you know, she didn't pay for this bag. I'm going to give Jisoo look to 10 wings. This is smart casual vibes. It's a wardrobe staple that everyone should have an outfit like this in their wardrobe that they can just crack out. And I love that little pop of red. Love. This outfit should be a staple in your wardrobe. Yes, you, your wardrobe. It's chic, it's smart casual, but it's comfortable. You could wear this look to meet friends at the weekend, casual drinks. If you work in a smart casual setting, perfect work outfit. I think the beauty of this look as well is that a lot of people will already have the pieces in their wardrobe to, you know, style together or, you know, just maybe buy like one thing to create this look. I've linked all of the pieces you need to recreate this perfect smart casual look in the description, including that Dior bag, <laughs> just so you can go see <laughs> how much it costs. Jisoo look three. This is the only shot of this outfit I could find, but we can get a lot of detail from it. Jisoo is wearing this oversized blazer and to me it looks double breasted and that's because the buttons are sitting away from the edge, which means it must wrap. We can also see this really cool paneling detail in the front where it's like coming down and there are panels across like this. We can see that this is an oversized fit, clearly by the length it's hitting her mid thigh, but also how far the jacket is coming down on the sleeves. It's almost hitting her right at the knuckle. That's a great way to tell that something's oversized. We can also see that this is a notch lapel again. So whether lapel is the same length slash distance out as the collar. What I really like is the actual silhouette of the outfit. It's the fact that we can't really see what she's wearing underneath. Zooming in, we can see that there's that three Adidas stripe. I don't know if she's wearing maybe like a t-shirt and a skirt or if it's a dress, but it's the fact that everything finishes in this flush line and it just looks so cool. And what's really good about this, it's layering. So if it gets warm, you can take a jacket off. You've got this really nice outfit on underneath. Also, we need to take a moment to talk about how amazing she looks in these glasses. Jisoo in glasses, I'm just like. On Jisoo's feet, I believe she's wearing the Adidas Originals Magma Runners. Just a really cool pair of white chunky sneakers. Goes really well with the black. I'm gonna give Jisoo look three 10 wings. Like I said, I love the silhouette. I love the fact that the dress or like the skirt she's wearing underneath that oversized blazer, it all finishes flush. It is a very simple outfit, but it's like screaming cool girl casual vibes. I really love this look for spring and an all black layered look for spring. Ooh, it is naughty. Layering an oversized blazer over a jersey dress gives this really cool casual vibe. And the beauty of it is, you know, you can take 
the blazer off and you've still got this really nice dress on underneath. So perfect for warmer weather. I've linked this really cool oversized double-breasted blazer from H&M with the pearl button detail. And I've also linked a few jersey dress options. I really like the one with the ruched detailing at the sides. It just adds like a little saying saying to a black jersey dress. And then trust me, I was hunting the internet far and wide for the Adidas Originals Magma Runners, but oof, they're a tough one to come by. So happy hunting. If you can get your hands on a pair, go for it. Juicy Look For, she's serving us up another beautiful tonal moment. What I love about this is how she has layered it. It looks like she's got this oversized t-shirt, maybe a sweater dress. I think it looks more like the weight of like a really lightweight sweater more so than a t-shirt, but we've got this oversized silhouette. It's quite short, hitting her at the top of the thigh with the slouchy sleeves. So comfy, so perfect for flying. But we can see over the top, she's wearing this like ribbed crop top, kind of like a corset vibe, not like, a traditional corset where you're like snatched in, more of like the contemporary version, if you know what I'm talking about. I think this gives it a really interesting silhouette and it also gives it a different texture, that plain fabric with the ribbed over the top. I understand that this isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea, what I love is the fact she's just gone for it. Not everyone is gonna wear a little top over this big, like oversized jersey dress, but she's gone for it. I think it looks great. I'm here for it. And then we've got like the tonal Louis Vuitton bag to match that classic LV bag. And then she's bringing in some streetwear with those Adidas Yeezy 500s. Like I'm loving the different like elements and references in this look. And then we've got like the beret. Do you know what I mean? It's like chic with streetwear, tonal, but like classic Louis Vuitton. Jisoo is serving it up. I'm gonna give Jisoo look for 8.5 wings. I love this. I understand it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I love the tonal vibes, the Louis Vuitton being tonal as well. And then the fact she's bringing in the streetwear element of those Yeezy 500s. I just think it's really cool. Jisoo Look 5 is all about this statement cardigan from Burberry. It's this really beautiful nude knit with that coral, like pinky red embroidered Burberry logo motif all over it. I just think it looks so good, that coral like popping out from the nude and then looking closely at the knit, it just looks so luxe, so buttery. You can see that there is a double rib on the cuff and it's been folded back, like, oh, you know this cardigan's gonna be expensive. Like this cardigan just looks so comfy, so slouchy, but it looks so luxurious. Like the rib on top of the pockets, the different direction of the ribs, the buttons, like it is stunning. And I love the fact that she's just giving it its full moment. She's wearing a black jersey dress underneath and then she's got those black chunky platform Chelsea boots a statement, but again, it's letting the cardigan do all of the talking. She's then got those glasses on again that melt my heart. I'm just like, oh, Jisoo and the glasses. It's so cute. This jersey dress is also incredibly, incredibly short, but the cardigan comes down longer. Again, it's letting her really nice legs do all of the talking. Like her legs in the shot look so good. I like the fact as well, she's paired this look with the black beanie. It keeps it very casual, very cool. This look is very casual and very cool. So the hat, the beanie, it's perfect. I also think she's got the same Burberry bag from that first look, that quilted bag. I can see like a very similar like shaped bag under her arm and a very similar like chain detail. I'm gonna give Jisoo look five, nine wings. It's cool, it's casual. The length on her, like those really like sexy legs pop out. It's great. Like look three, this is a really cool layered look and it is also another fantastic way to wear those jersey dresses from look three. I've linked this beautiful statement cardigan from and other stories. It is in alpaca blend, so it's gonna be so soft and buttery. And also these platform square toe Chelsea boots to complete the look. If you are on a more affordable budget, I've also linked these really similar items from H&M that are a fab alternative. Our final Jisoo look, Jisoo look six, is this really cute layered moment. What I love about this is the silhouette, but also how she's <laughs> on that Kangol hat. Like I'm here for the Kangol hat 
so 90s. She looks so cute in it. What I like about the silhouette is how we've got this cropped cardigan that hits her right at the waist. And then we've got this, I'm gonna say it's a black jersey skater dress that flares back out. So, you know, we're getting the waist, we're getting that flare. It looks really good. She's got her legs out again. I love it when she's got her legs out. This strawberry embroidered cardigan is so cute. Like I said, like the little strawberries embroidered on it. Super cute. And then that diamond detail, it's really nice. It's nice that you get like a little flash of like the outfit that's being worn underneath. We can also see that it's got that like lettuce edge detail in a contrasting red around the cuffs and around the neck. And then I also really like the fact she's just paired this with a white trainer, white socks. Girl after my own heart. If you've watched all these videos, you know I just love a good white shoe. The only thing I do not like and I do not understand is that purple top. I like the fact that she's done like the same vibe as look number four where she's put that little top over the oversized dress. But I think this is an example where for me anyway, it doesn't work. I think it's the fact that it's like the purple ditzy print. It doesn't go with the rest of the outfit. The color doesn't make any sense. It kind of looks like an after four. I think if it was maybe red or like a pinkier red and it tied in with like the strawberry embellishment on the cardigan, it would have looked a lot better. But where it's that like lavender lilac, I just, I don't understand. Like for me, it just doesn't really work. Like the silhouette of the outfit is great. I just don't understand the purple top. It just, it looks like it doesn't belong. I just want to like unbutton it and be like, take it off. Because then it would still look cute, like the black dress with that really cute cardigan. Do you know what I mean? Let me know in the comments what you think of this look. Do you like the purple top or do you agree with me that it doesn't really look like it belongs? I'm going to give our final Jisoo look, Jisoo look 6. I'm going to give this 7.5 wings. I really like the silhouette of the outfit and I like the Kangol hat, the details of the cardigan. I just don't like the purple top. It doesn't belong on that outfit in my opinion. Jisoo has this really amazing, cool, casual style and then she also switches it up and serves us these smart, casual looks that all still have this cool vibe. She knows her silhouettes, she knows what suits her body. The legs, ooh. My favorite looks definitely have to be two, three, and five. The looks I recreated because they are my favorites. Please let me know in the comments what your opinion is on look six about that purple top. I wanna hear your thoughts, but what you guys should do next is check out my Blackpink Airport Outfits playlist. If you haven't seen it already, I'll leave it linked up here in the corner of the screen for you. But thank you so, so much for watching and thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.